Hello creators, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create custom t-shirts with My Designs. So let's jump right in. So the first thing that I like to do before I ever start creating or designing any products is to actually research what's selling. So I'm on EtsyHunt.com here. Um, let's go ahead and change the category to um, clothing. We'll go to women's clothing and tops and tees. And then I'm going to change the product type over here to be customizable. And then we'll just go through this list and see if we can find something that's um, pretty easy to replicate. Um, this one could be pretty easy. Uh, looks like it is in reference to a Taylor Swift song though, so we may want to stay away from that. Uh, let's just keep scrolling here. Um, something like this could be quite easy to replicate. Um, maybe we'll even find something that's uh, easier than that. Uh, this iHeart Custom, I've been seeing these quite a bit um, around. Basically, you get to customize what this custom part says. So it says I heart and then the customer inputs what they would like that next thing to say. So we can go ahead and actually use this as an example. You can see it has 50 sales in the last seven days and um, total, I believe it had, you can look here, it almost has 3000 total sales. So I think this is a great one to um, replicate. Let's jump over to my designs and we'll get started on it. So the first thing you need to do is actually create a new collection if you don't already have one. As you can see, I'm already in a collection that's empty. If you don't know how to create a new one, you can click, once you go to listings here, you can click this button home and then you can click add new folder and you can name it whatever you'd like to. As you can see, mine is named personalized t-shirt demo. Um, once you get to this point, the next step is to actually start creating the designs. If you already have a design created, you can just click upload and upload your file. If you wanna create your design inside of my designs, we can go over here under create and click canvas. Once we get here, if we remember right, we're trying to replicate a design similar to um, one that just says I heart and then a custom we're gonna allow our, um, our customers to personalize it. So I'll go ahead and just select the text here. Um, I'm gonna increase the size to about 500, and then I'm gonna change this to say I. Um, I may also change the color on this to be black like the other one was. Um, and then I'm just gonna change the text field to be a bit smaller, and we'll put it here. I actually forgot we do need to select a template. So I'm gonna go ahead and search our products. For this example on this video, I'll be using the Bella 3001. Uh, as you can see, it's right here. Um, it does show a man, but it is a unisex t-shirt, so it works for either women or men. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna select Swift POD as our print partner. Um, and then I'll select the front as the canvas. So now you can see we've got this here, the correct canvas. Um, we're gonna need to increase the size of this by quite a bit. Uh, even more than that, I would think somewhere around 2000 maybe. That looks a little bit better. So we can uh, do the eye there, um, and then we're gonna just copy and paste this field. Uh, we're gonna reduce the size drastically as we want this field to actually say custom like the other one did. So we'll extend these out to the edges of our canvas and you do not want the text field to go past the edges of the canvas, especially if you are doing a personalized design like we're planning on doing. Um, that way, if the customer ever has something that's um, longer than what we typically would do, it will still stay inside this text box. So I'm gonna now change this text to say custom um, like that. And then now we just basically need to make it look good and then add our heart as an element. Um, anytime I'm practicing any t-shirt designs, I like to put them towards the top here and only leave just a little bit of padding in between the neck and where the design's gonna be. Um, so we'll go ahead and go to elements over here on the left-hand side, and I'm just gonna search for a heart. We'll see what we have in our library. Um, it looks like we have quite a few options, but I do like the one I saw at the very top as it looks to be the most simple, um, something like this. So we can go ahead and put that there make it look just a little better, make sure they're lined up. And then we'll go ahead and change the color of the black to make sure that it's the same black as the text. 
So I think that looks fantastic right there already. I'm not going to go into too much detail in terms of designing as this is just an example to show you guys what is possible. So once we have this design done how we would like it to be, all we have to do is click save to collection. We're going to name this iHeart custom. We're going to select the listing as new listing as we don't have any listings inside of this collection. So of course it's going to be a new listing. Um, we're going to save this design to our main file slot. Um, file slots can be your designs. It can be your mockups, anything like that. Um, the format, we need to make sure that it's a PNG as we do need a transparent background on this. And then this part is extremely important. If you plan on doing customized shirts or sweatshirts or whatever product you're doing, um, a personalized product I should say, you need to make sure you save this design as editable. When we do this, it allows us once a customer orders it to come into this same design and just change the text to whatever they input um, they would like it to be. Um, I did forget one thing here though, so before that I do that, I need to go ahead and remove the background here like that. We can toggle it on and off there. Once it's removed, we can go back to save collection. All of my um, information is saved as it was. So we'll go ahead and just click create new listing. And that should take just a second to create. And then we'll jump into doing some mockups for this listing. Now that that's done, you can see in this uh, file slot where it saved our design, there's two blue paintbrushes. What that means is that this is now an editable design. So if we ever want to change this design, we can just click this button here. It'll open it up and then we can change this text to say whatever our customer requested. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. The next step is to actually just get some data here. Um, we have a really cool feature that we call Vision AI that essentially just scans your image and then creates your data for you based off of that image. So I'm going to click Vision AI here. I'm going to use the input slot as our design. Obviously, the product type we're using is a t shirt. The platform we'll be selling this on is Etsy. Um, we want the newest model. We want our title descriptions and tags to be generated. Um, I'll even go ahead and select this product feature so it'll include the product features. And then I'm going to just search the product we're selling, which is the Bella 3001. I'm also going to click custom instructions because this is a personalized design. So I want um, a, this AI to know that this is a personalized design. There's nothing that says personalized other than the custom text. So I'm going to say this is a personalized design please include this in the data we'll go ahead and make sure that's spelled correct and then we'll click generate listing data and yes run vision ai um, this takes just a second but this is honestly one of my favorite features with my designs it gives some incredible results um, we'll run through those just a little bit um, now that it's done Customizable, I love heart design t-shirt, personalized custom heart shirt, unique gift, customizable text, personalized tee, custom shirt. So there is some really, really good keywords in there. Um, there is a couple times where it used custom that I may change that out. Um, just to save time, I'm not gonna change anything here, but I just wanna show you what's possible. Um, these tags also look fantastic. And then you'll see in the description, it gave us a little um, description it generated on its own, and then it included the product feature that we requested here. Um, so this is ready to go essentially other than the mock-ups. If you want to generate mock-ups um, before you go through the publishing process, you can do that by clicking here and then go to image mock-ups. Um, you are allowed to actually upload your own custom mock-ups and use those in this generator if you prefer. Um, I'm not going to generate mine here, but I do want to show you what it looks like if you do decide to. Um, that is what one of the mock-ups would look like. It's a Bella 3001. Uh, we do have a huge library of mock-ups. If I search Bella 3001 here, you'll see there's a bunch of different options here. Um, for this particular shirt and um, for the toddler versions of it as well. But like I said, I'm going to generate um, all of my mockups in the publishing process. So I'm going to close this out. Um, it looks like everything's good to go besides our mockups. So I'm going to go to the top right corner here now and just click publish. I'm going to click products. All of this data should be mapped correctly already. Um, and then we'll select the price later. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, the category is clothing, and we'll go ahead and just click our next step, which is pick a product. 
I'm going to search Bella 3001. Um, and there it is. Like I said, this is a unisex t-shirt, so it doesn't matter if you select male or female, it is the exact same shirt. So this is where we would like to change our, um, our mockups or select the ones that we would like. So we don't want black because this is black text. So we're just going to select a couple um, white colors. And if you don't like this mockup to be generated automatically, you can just click again and it will take it away. Uh, that looks too close to ash. Maybe we'll do something like that heather ice blue, a soft pink, um, maybe a yellow. Um, and we'll just leave it at that for a moment. Um, we'll get rid of these mock-ups and we'll get some much better looking ones. So you can see here, these are all Bella 3001s. Um, I do like some of these, so we'll just select a couple um, and then we'll go ahead and see if we like them. So we'll turn these back on to go ahead and see what these look like now. It takes just a minute to load. Um, so I think that one looks great. Um, we'll do a couple more here. We want um, both of these on, and we only actually want one specific uh, mock-up of each color. We don't want all the colors of all the mock-ups. So uh, you can see, I like those two. I think they look great. Uh, we'll go ahead and maybe select uh, one more. It takes just a minute to generate previews here. Um, and while that's uh, loading, we can actually go ahead and select a size chart as well. I like to include size charts. I think that um, the customers love them. Uh, they get uh, to look at this and, and make sure that they're ordering the correct dimensions to fit themselves. Um, so these are... The, or excuse me, the mockups are all done. I think that these all look fantastic. If I was actually publishing this, I would take more time here. Um, I'd make sure there were different colors of mockups that represent the colors that we selected. Um, I would also probably fill out all 10 of my spots for mockups as I would want to utilize all the, um, I would want my customers to be able to see as many mockups as possible as it helps with um, getting sales. But once you have all of this done, all we have to do is um, click choose prices. Once we get to this point, you can go input the price um, individually if you'd like to, or you can select all sizes, all colors, and then replace. And I'm gonna just start this out at, let's say, $29.99 and click apply. Um, if you wanted to change like um, the 2XL or 3XL to be a little bit more, because as you can see, the profit changes on these. Uh, it goes down because the, the larger the shirt, the more you get charged for it, essentially. I think after XL is where it starts going up. So we can just go ahead and go sizes and go 2XL. And let's say maybe we want to sell this one for $31.99 and then the 3XL for $33.99. That changes our profit margins a bit so that we make a bit more money there versus losing a little more. Um, once this is done, you can actually change the um, prefix and suffix here, which would will just show the name basically of what the customer is seeing on Etsy. I'm going to leave it as is. And then I'm going to go ahead and click preview publish info. Now this shows us how our listing looks before we publish it to Etsy. As you can see, this is our primary mock-up. Um, if I was actually publishing this, like I said, actually selling it rather, um, I would probably choose a different mock-up to be my primary one. Um, but once again, this is just a example. So before we click publish, this is extremely important to do. We need to make sure we click personalization on this product because that's what that's the whole point of this one. So this now wants us to basically input what the customer is going to see. So we're, we're going to say include whatever text you would like to replace the custom text with. And we'll leave it like that. Um, the response character limit, we'll leave it 256. I really don't think anyone's going to be using um, anything more than that. And then we'll just go ahead and click publish. Um, that takes about 20 seconds, and then I'm going to jump over to the Etsy shop and show you what it looks like there. We're now over on our Etsy shop that we published this listing to. Um, as you can see, I am in my draft folder. Everything that is published through my designs will always go to your draft as Etsy charges you a 20 cent listing fee. Um, so we want you to have to go in and approve that before it ever gets to active. But you can see this is our listing here set up exactly how we set it up in my designs. If we want to publish this now, all we have to do is click this check 
well, not this one, excuse me, click this checkbox for just this one, and then we click publish, we pay the 20 cent fee, um, and then it's live on Etsy, and that is how easy it is to create and sell personalized products with my designs um, on your Etsy shop, um, and even available on uh, Shopify soon as well. So I hope all of this made sense to you guys. If you enjoyed this video, um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for future My Designs content.